Welcome to the Eras Tour! <laughs> or someone who really doesn't get the hype. Hell no! You gotta get off. One second, one second, one second. We caused the equivalent of a 2.3 magnitude earthquake. Taylor Swift is giving her fan base mass amnesia and long-term memory. All right, folks, we've all seen the headlines. The question is out there. Is Taylor Swift really losing her fan base? And if so, why? Let's dive into it and unpack everything that's been going on. This isn't just about one bad decision. It's about how a series of choices might be causing her to lose her longtime fans. So grab a drink, settle in, and let's talk Taylor Swift. From beloved to controversial, Taylor Swift is, without a doubt, one of the biggest pop stars on the planet. She has millions of devoted fans, a string of record-breaking albums, and her concerts sell out in seconds. But despite all that, there's been a recent shift in how some people view her. Over the last few years, Taylor has become a polarizing figure, beloved by many, but increasingly criticized by others. You might be wondering why this is happening. Isn't she still the same person who wrote hit after hit, pouring her heart into every lyric? Well, let's just say things have gotten a bit more complicated. One, politics and celebrity endorsements. Did she alienate her fan base? One of the biggest points of contention is Taylor Swift's political endorsements. Back in the day, Taylor was notoriously quiet about her political views, and many fans appreciated that. They loved that she stayed out of the political fray and focused on her music. But all of that changed in 2018, when she publicly endorsed Democratic candidates ahead of the midterm elections. Fast forward to today, and Taylor has doubled down on her political activism, most notably endorsing Kamala Harris and the Biden administration. Now, don't get me wrong, everyone has the right to express their political views, but here's where it gets tricky for someone like Taylor. Her fan base is huge and diverse. Many of her fans come from different political backgrounds, and by endorsing certain candidates, she risked alienating a chunk of her audience. Some of her fans feel that Taylor's endorsement of Kamala Harris and other Democrats was a slap in the face to their own values. In fact, there's been a lot of talk on social media about how this move has backfired. A recent survey even showed that her favorability rating dropped to 42%, which, believe it or not, is lower than Donald Trump's rating of 47%. The key takeaway here? Know your audience. It's not that celebrities can't or shouldn't share their political views, but when you have a massive, diverse fan base like Taylor, you have to tread carefully. A lot of moms on TikTok, for example, have said they won't be buying tickets to her concerts anymore, and their daughters won't either. That's a pretty big deal, considering how much of Taylor's fan base is made up of young women and their families. 2. The pressure to be woke. Did she go too far? Let's talk about the woke culture for a minute. Taylor has embraced progressive politics in a big way, but some fans feel that she's done it to an extreme. There's a sense among certain circles that she's trying too hard to align herself with current social movements, to the point where it feels forced or inauthentic. For example, her song, You Need to Calm Down, was an anthem celebrating the LGBTQ community. And while it was praised by many, it also faced backlash. Some critics argued that the song was pandering and that Taylor, who had previously been silent on these issues, was suddenly using them to boost her image. Whether or not that's true is up for debate, but what is clear is that some fans didn't appreciate the shift. There's a fine line between genuinely supporting a cause and hopping on a trend, and when you're as famous as Taylor Swift, every move is scrutinized. Some of her critics believe she's crossed that line, and that's part of what's driving people away. Three. The changing music style, did she lose the magic? Another big reason for Taylor losing some fans is her evolving music style. Let's face it, Taylor Swift started off as a country music darling. Songs like Love Story and You Belong With Me defined her early career and earned her a loyal following. But as we all know, she made the switch to pop music. And while that was a successful transition, not everyone was on board with it. For many fans, Taylor's earlier work resonated because it was simple, heartfelt, and relatable. But with her switch to pop and later to indie folk, as seen in albums like Folklore and Evermore, she moved away from the sound that made her famous. 
Sure, she gained new fans with this shift, but some of her original followers felt left behind. The argument here isn't necessarily about whether her new music is good or bad, it's about how fans who fell in love with a particular version of Taylor Swift now feel disconnected. For them, Taylor Swift's personal life has always been in the spotlight, and while it's part of what makes her relatable, it's also part of the problem. The constant feuds, breakups, and reconciliations have become exhausting for some fans. Think about the long-running feud with Kanye West, the fallout with Katy Perry, or the recent controversies surrounding her re-recording of albums to regain control of her masters. While many fans support her decision to re-record, others see it as a drawn-out battle that's more about ego than empowerment. The public loves a good scandal, but when the drama never seems to end, people can start to lose interest. At some point, it stops being entertaining and starts feeling like a never-ending soap opera, and that's when fans start checking out. 5. Overexposure. Can there be too much Taylor? Taylor Swift is everywhere. From music and movies to politics and social causes, she's a constant presence in pop culture. But is it possible for a star to be overexposed? Some fans seem to think so. They feel that Taylor has reached a point where she's in the spotlight so much that it's becoming overwhelming. In the world of social media, overexposure can be a real problem. The more you see someone, the more you're likely to get tired of them. This is especially true in a time when people's attention spans are shorter than ever. When you're constantly bombarded with Taylor Swift content, whether it's music, interviews, or political statements, it's easy to get burnt out. 6. The Kamala Harris Endorsement Backlash Let's dive a bit deeper into the Kamala Harris endorsement. It's no secret that many of Taylor's fans were caught off guard when she publicly supported Harris. While a large portion of Taylor's fan base is progressive, many of her listeners come from conservative backgrounds, particularly in the U.S. heartland, where her country roots still resonate. By openly aligning with a political figure as divisive as Kamala Harris, Taylor may have misread the room. It's not just about who she supports, but how she's perceived. For many fans, this endorsement felt like a betrayal of the old Taylor, the one who stayed out of politics and focused on her music. And it's not just conservatives who feel this way. Some progressive fans have criticized her for jumping into politics too late or for being performative in her activism. This, combined with her other political statements, has led some fans to turn their backs on her. It's a tricky balance to maintain, and Taylor is learning the hard way that not all of her fans appreciate her political opinions. Can Taylor win her fans back? So is Taylor Swift really losing her fan base? The answer is complicated. While it's true that some fans are distancing themselves from her due to her political endorsements, changing music style and overexposure, Taylor still has millions of loyal followers. She's a savvy businesswoman and an incredible artist, so it's unlikely that she'll disappear anytime soon. But if Taylor wants to maintain her status as one of the world's biggest stars, she'll need to find a way to reconnect with her audience. Whether that means toning down the political rhetoric, returning to her musical roots, or simply taking a break from the spotlight, only time will tell. What do you think? Is Taylor Swift losing her fan base for good? Or is this just a bump in the road? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives like this one. Thanks for watching.